All right, we're back. Dr. Stephanie Marcy is here. We're joined with also by Daniel Nitzel and Dr. Stephen Walker. We're going to continue our discussion about how we can make our schools safe for or more safe for our children. Two inventions that these gentlemen created. Um, I, I want to start with you, Dr. Walker, a little bit about what it is. What is your invention called? Well, we call it the bodyguard blanket. And uh -huh. uh, really, to the doctor's point, we named it a blanket because we didn't want this to be a intimidating thing for a six or a five-year-old. Um, it's a garment that would actually be stored in the classroom. And whether it's a lockdown procedure, uh, tornado drill, fire drill, it's something that the child could easily put on themselves. And uh, we purposely made it a very simple design. Mm -hmm. We put backpack straps on it. Again, most children are familiar with a backpack. And um, well, let's take a. We have a video of this. Great. Can we take sure. a look. Let's let's take a peek. Bodyguard blanket was specifically developed to help protect our children from events that come unexpectedly and with the potential for catastrophic outcomes. Bodyguard blankets are made with the same bullet-resistant materials that shield our soldiers in battle, providing maximum tested protection. Bodyguard's uncomplicated design, protective technology, and light weight make it the best defense for children of all ages and classroom teachers. Bodyguard blanket can safeguard your loved ones in moments when time is critical. Every student and teacher in every school should have the protection from tornadoes and school incursions that bodyguard blankets provide. Well, now you're talking mainly about uh, the bullets penetrating. It, it won't penetrate the, the blanket. Right. There's a material in the blanket. It's a bullet-resistant material, and it's not going to be able to stop every bullet. Okay. I was going to... um, but when we were developing this over a year and we're doing our research, uh, we began to look at all the school shootings since 1990 to today, and we began to realize that about 90 percent of the weapons used uh, could have been stopped with the material we currently have in there. It's called a National Institute of Justice Level 3A body armor, and there's different levels of body armor. Mm -hmm. If we tried to make an armor that uh, could stop every bullet, it would be so heavy that a five-year-old or a six-year-old just simply wouldn't be able to put it on. A lot of adults might not even be able to put it on. We, we have, have a, a video of the ballistic yep. tests on this yeah. blanket, so let's right. take a look at that right now. This is a federal 115 grain full metal jacket Nine millimeter round, we're gonna do our first shot. Here you can see the deformation into the clay. There was not a penetration. This is just a bending that happens at the back of the armor. And we can measure that depth just using a simple caliper to measure that depth. What we're looking for is the depth to be less than 44 millimeters. These first two here are 17 and 19 millimeters. All the energy is absorbed on the interior of the plate the penetrator is stopped, whatever round it is, 9 millimeter, 357, is stopped within the armor. It mushrooms out, and that, that mushroom helps us absorb it before it can penetrate through the plate, or the blanket in this case, then protects the body from penetration and uh, severe organ damage. That is it's remarkable. Amazing. That is yeah. remarkable. But that stops the bullet, if, it, if heaven forbid it ever would happen. But if we can keep them out of the rooms that our children are in, that would even be a better line of defense. That's where I'm going to come to you, Daniel, on this, was your invention. We had a discussion earlier when we first met today, and you were talking a little bit about the scenarios that have happened mm -hmm. with these shooters as they come into the rooms. Sure. Um, what did you guys learn as you were creating this about each of the scenarios that seemed common? Well, I think you brought up a good point earlier where they're looking for a body count, the shooter is. They want to go out, they want to take as many people uh, with them as possible. So if you can offer any bit of resistance, mm -hmm. uh, that, that gives your yourself and most importantly your students more time and more opportunity to live through one of these things. So in our training, we were told um, Training as teachers. Yes, it's active shooter training. Um, okay. what, what was happening was they, they, they worked us through a scenario, what we should do, and be, take a more proactive approach where it used to be we would turn the lights off, go under the table, um, and, and, and essentially pray that he didn't come in and, yeah. and, and yeah. attack us. Um, this is more of this try is to... This training? Yeah, the training okay. is more uh, tie down the, uh, the door closer. What so, are we looking at here? You're looking here at the video. Um, Edwin has uh, slid on the sleeve here, and, and essentially the... 
The sleeve slides over the door closer, which is, is something that you see on uh, many classroom doors. This is what you invented, is this sleeve to go over the hinge. Correct. Can you just briefly, because you, I, I thought this was interesting, <coughs> what they were teaching you, Daniel, was how to secure the door before you created the sleeve was to do what? Sure. What, so what they wanted us to do was to, to grab a cord, uh -huh. be a telephone cord, internet cord, and, and tie a knot around this door closer. So uh -huh. basically preventing the arms from spreading, uh -huh. which in theory is, is, is great, but what was happening was in, in all the classrooms we were doing this training in, the, the, the cables were snapping. And so the perpetrator was coming in and he was going, you know, bang, you're dead, bang, you're dead. Yeah. So essentially the, the, the solution they gave us was a failed one. How yeah. long did it take to secure one of those doors with that cable? It took about a minute and a half. To per a door. 45 seconds per door. And my wife has three in her classroom. So I just kept thinking there's got to be something that, that we can do that, that makes this fast and is, is more reliable than an internet cable when your life's on the line. And how can you show how that goes on? Yeah, um, yep. So essentially, you grab the sleeve, get the door closer, and slide it on. And that's it. That's it. And What's that, that door will not open. What's that made out of? That's made out of uh, a 12 gauge carbon steel. Um, it, it will hold up to 450 or 550 foot pounds of force. Um, to give you a pers like an idea on that, when you're loosening that first lug nut on a uh, tire, yeah. That's about 120 foot-pounds of force, so these, this can hold up to 550. Are these being used in schools now? Yep, yep. We've sh we've shipped them out to schools all across America. Actually, it's 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 happened uh, really fast. Hospitals, uh, yeah. businesses, um, lots of different you yeah. know venues we didn't even think about. When you see this, Dr. Marcy, what, uh, you're sitting here smiling, smiling and sort of taking I, it all in. I just think it's so sad that it's come to this. And I think yeah. for parents, we can't change the world all at once, but I think taking on some small changes in your communities so that you don't feel so helpless. And having things like this, where you least feel you're not sending your child out to school to be shot. It yeah. used to be such a safe place, and sadly, schools are not anymore. You guys are teaming up now, huh? Well, I was telling Daniel that our company, um, we've only been out a, about a month public, but our, our company's been really impressed with this. And mm -hmm. we've had school districts and organizations, daycare centers um, that are very interested in our product. And we feel so good about this that we want to donate a sleeve to every classroom that needs it right. uh, with our blankets. So mm -hmm. if, uh, if someone should happen to buy our blankets, we, we want to be a part of this because in the end, it's, it's, it's about giving them as much protection as quickly mm -hmm. as yeah. possible. Mm -hmm. Putting on that sleeve allows our kids then to put on the blankets mm -hmm. uh, and gives them more time. Yeah. Uh, so it's just a win-win and I really admire the fact that you know, we have a teacher that's that's trying to do something as well. I mean, it's comforting as a parent yeah. that we've got teachers like him. Good stuff. And there's nothing more deserving of all of this attention and our energy and effort and money, whatever it is, than our children in our schools. Mm -hmm. Thank help. you guys for being here. Thank you. Um, Are we going to show how they... Um, uh, oh, yeah, we have the demo. Let me show you just real quick, because we <laughs> talked about this. Yeah. This is this is an adult size? That yeah. is. Actually, it comes in three sizes. That's a large uh, for people about six foot or taller. Right. Um, and you said it's easy for kids to put us like a backpack. It is. It it's just like way. a backpack, and we wanted it to be simple. And they put it on. There's a strap that goes around the waist goes here. Uh, that helps secure it, and then there's handles on the very top. You'll have to kind of bend on. down, bend and it'll come. Kind of just bend down a little bit. There you there go. We go. And you've got those. And there's so. and there's a position, you know, uh, that most kids would take. There's a tornado drill position. There's a lockdown position. You can see those things on our website. But they would be down in a yeah. In a and squad. they would form in a line, and then you would just see a shield, basically, of orange. Yeah. Um, and, and so that's how you put it on. Wonderful. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Uh, so much information to pass along to you. We've got to keep this conversation going. And great work. Great work. Uh, go to our website if you'd like uh, to get more information. You can go to chla.org. Bodyguardblanket.com is another resource. Fightingchancesolutions.com. And again, as I said, our home and family site, homeandfamilytv.com. All right. Thank you. Very Thank good. You. Thank you. We're coming back. Matt, you're up again. That's right, Mark. When we come back, we are having a big, bold, manly competition. And actually, for the first time in the history of the show, Christina's actually the favorite. These are fantastic. Okay. <laughs>